Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers, scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Y Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as Esau is the Wicked. And uh, we're going to get some precepts out. This is Genesis uh, 25 25. Low wellness lessons edifying. This is Genesis chapter 25 and 25. And it says, And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. Who is this referring to? Esau is the so-called white man. All right. He's that um, hairy garment. You know, it says, uh, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. All right. A so-called white man. All right. So-called white people. They're different shades of red. All right. That's who the Edomites are. It says, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. So that's who that's talking about. This is um, Psalms 25 and 25. So, oops, went too far down. Psalms 25 and, not 25, um, Psalms 58 and, um, tripping. I'm over here thinking of uh, Genesis. I just read uh, Psalms 58. And uh, verse 3. This is Psalms 58 and verse 3. It says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. And that's that's why you saw he's that devil. He's that deceiver. All right. He speaks those lies. All right. He loves, uh, he loves uh, to deceive. He's that deceiver. He's that devil. Devil means deceiver. Satan means adversary. He's that devil. He's that deceiver. He loves to speak lies. That's Esau. He's that wicked. This is uh, Malachi um, 1 in verse uh, 1. And we're going to read down to verse... Uh, actually, we're going to read from verse 3 on down to verse 4. This is Malachi 1 and 3. It says, And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste." For the dragons of the wilderness. See, the Lord, he hates Esau. He don't, he don't love you. He hates you. Verse 4, it says, Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down. They shall call them the border of wickedness. See, that's Esau. They're the wicked. It says, Um, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. The Lord have wrath against them. The earth is given in to the hand of the wicked. That's the Edomites. They're the wicked. Job 9 and 24. This is Job 9 and 24. It says, so like it. it says, the earth is given in to the hand of the wicked. That's these Edomites, man. It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where, who is he? So if Esau is, is, is not the wicked, then who is he? Where is he? See? So we know Esau is the wicked. All right? Esau is the wicked. Achilleastes, um, should I go? No, Ezekiel. Ezekiel um, 25 and verse 12. This is Ezekiel 25 and 12. And Salak, your brothers, I'm just getting scriptures here and there. Um, Ezekiel 25 and 12. It says, Thus saith the Lord power, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking, taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. See, and this is Esau. All right, he... He's the wicked man, you know. He dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, man. Because Esau, he feels, um, you know, uh, anger against Jacob. 
because he feel that he lost his birthright. So it's just his spirit to be the way he is. It's just in his spirit. It's just in his DNA. All right, he hates us Israelites. He's against us. All right, and that's that's Esau. He's that wicked. Habakkuk um, 2 and 4. It's Habakkuk 2 and 4. And it says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not of right in him, but the just shall live by his faith. See, it says, But his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. See? So this is letting you know. This is Esau, man. Right here. It says, Behold, his soul, it, it says, His soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his face, faith. See, so it, it's not the upright with Esau. He's the wicked man. Every, the only thing that's in his mind is wickedness. Rape, rob, murder, bloodshed. That's who this devil is, man. This is why the Lord is going to do vengeance on him. The Lord is going to do a recompense on him. Because he believed that all the wickedness that he done, he believes he could sweep it under the rug. But that's why the scriptures say in um, Revelation 17, the Lord is going to cast his judge judgment on him. He's going, to cast, he's going to cast judgment on him and his kingdom and his rulership. The Lord is going to cast judgment on Esau, man. Hebrews 12 and 16. This is Hebrews 12. In 16, it says, least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, see, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright, right? It says, verse 17, for ye know how that afterward, it says, when he would have inheritance, inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought, he sought it uh, carefully with tears, right? Because Esau can't repent. He don't have no repentance. Repentance is not given to him. He's been rejected. The Lord ain't dealing with him, right? That's why I say the scriptures say repentance is only given to the Israelites. The Lord ain't dealing with these Edomites, right? The Lord ain't dealing with these Edomites. This is Revelation 6 and 4. Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red, Esau Edom. That's who that red horse is. It says, And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. And Esau took peace from the earth. How he did that? With his sword, his blessing. That's how he conquered. He raped, robbed, and murdered. He did all that with, with his sword, which was his blessing. He received the fatness of the earth. He took peace from the earth. And he did it by his sword. It says, And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. See? Which was his, that's his blessing. His sword. This is Genesis uh, 27 and verse 40, because we're going to get to the main point. Genesis 27 and 40. And actually, I'll read up, because it's going into his blessing, which he's the wicked. This is Genesis 27 and 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. And that's his blessing. That's what was given him, the fatness of the earth and his sword. It says... And of the dew of heaven from above, verse 40, and by thy sword, see, that's his blessing, shall I live and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou have dominion, thou have the dominion, that thou should break his yoke from off thy neck. See, so Esau's blessing is the sword. That's Esau. He has his blessing, which is the sword. He is the wicked. That's Esau. He's on, he's on the loose right now, but he's going to go into slavery. As well as these 17 heathen nations. It is due. So we're going to read. Um, um, get one more precept out. I just want to think. Let's go to Obadiah. I'll wrap it up with Obadiah. <clears throat> this is Obadiah 1. And we're going to read to verse 3. And then we'll wrap it up with that. This is Obadiah 1. And one, it says the vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord power concerning Edom, Esau, Edom, Edos, Esau, Edom is a so-called white man. It says we have heard a rumor from the Lord and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. See, arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Verse two, it says, behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. And this is talking about the Israelites. 
right? We're small among the heathen. It says, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. It says, Thou art greatly despised. Verse 3, The pride of thine heart, meaning mine, talking about Esau Edom right here. This is talking about Esau Edom. It says, The pride of thine heart, meaning mine, have deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock. Who dwell in the cliffs of the rock? Esau Edom. Right? He dwelt in the Carcass Mountains. That's where you get Caucasian, the word Caucasian from. He's a cave dweller. It says, Whose inhabitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? This is Esau. He's the wicked. He believes that nobody can bring him down. But the Lord, he's going to come back. And when he makes his second coming, he's going to destroy Esau's rulership. And the Lord is going to set his kingdom on the planet Earth. So Esau, he's that, he's that, um, He's the wicked. He's that devil. He's that. He's the wicked. Uh, he's the wicked. So, hey, you know, I'm going to wrap it up with that. Lord willing, that's is edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahashai, Bahashim Mohawa Kakudash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power Yahweh, Bahashim Yahashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered abroad, pushing forth his word in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. The Lord will bless us. Was that a fine? Next time I say, shalom.